on everybody? Bearded Diabetic coming back at you with episode number two of this vlog following along with my weight loss and diabetic journey. I appreciate you coming back for the second episode. I appreciate you commenting on some of the videos. I appreciate all the likes I've already gotten and watches and things. Uh, it really makes me feel good that you guys are following along and helping me to stay accountable with this. So as promised, today is Wednesday. It is one week after my trip to the doctor. So I chose today as my weigh-in day just to show you uh, the progress from the first week. So uh, I'm gonna step on the scale here in a second and show you those numbers. I know that's a, a bad word for a lot of people, but since this is a weight loss journey, I do wanna track my weight loss using the scale. Um, we'll do some measurements and things like that too because I know that's a big part. I know uh, as you gain muscle, uh, the, the scale may not reflect what you're actually doing. So I'm not using that as my only tool through this journey, uh, but since I am mainly focused on dropping some weight, uh, that's what I'm gonna use uh, in addition with some other things. Uh, I'm gonna step on the scale and get a weight now, a week later, uh, as kind of a base weight for moving forward with future weigh-ins uh, because, you know, doctor's appointments aren't every week and things and I don't have their big fancy scale and all that kind of stuff. So we're just gonna use the little bathroom scale that we have here at the house. Just uh, a new measurement here a week later. So on. All right, and now it's ready. Two thirty seven point four. All right, so I put my shirt back on so y'all ain't gotta stare at all my hairiness. But uh, here uh, you can see from my starting numbers that when I went to the doctor last week, I was at 243. That's not the heaviest that I've been. Uh, my heaviest weight so far has been 250. So I was down seven pounds from my heaviest. Uh, but it still wasn't quite enough to get my numbers back in range like what they were wanting. So my numbers were 243 last week when I went to the doctor. When I stepped on the scale here at home, uh, it was 237.4. So that is a loss of 5.6 pounds. And again, I know that's not the only number we're looking at. I know that there are other things that we have to take into account, measurements and all of that kind of stuff. I'm gonna to try to get some of those and maybe try to get a little video of those numbers. If I don't, I can just share maybe a screenshot of my numbers. Okay, so over this past week, we haven't really been doing much exercise. Uh, just because with the new medicine that they put me on, I was on 2000 milligrams of metformin before. Uh, I haven't quite graduated into the insulin dependent stage, which is great, that's what we're trying to prevent. Uh, they actually warned me uh, several months ago, I think it was about three months ago, last time I went to the doctor, they told me then that if I couldn't get my numbers down enough that they would want to put me on insulin this time. But she kind of worked with me a little bit and the number um, wasn't still severe. So they were like, you know, let's try a new medicine, see how that works, see what it can do with the numbers and so on. So uh, again, I was on 2,000 milligrams of metformin a day and they've changed me over to 2,000 milligrams of this Janumet. It includes uh, 50 milligrams per pill of another medicine, uh, and I'm not even going to try to pronounce it, but it's another medicine that goes along with metformin to try to bring those numbers down. So that's, that's really all I've had, that and the strict ketogenic diet that we've been uh, sticking to this week. And I always forget to mention when I put out my Instagram pictures and my Facebook posts and all that kind of stuff, um, I always forget the hashtag, but we are doing the intermittent fasting with this as well. So really for the most part, I'm only eating uh, like once a day. If I eat any other, it's just like a small snack or something, but it's still within a very small window. Uh, when I very first started out last week, uh, or actually, no, excuse me, it's been, we've been doing the intermittent fasting even a week before I went to the doctor just for health purposes and try to drop some weight knowing that the doctor's appointment was coming up and started out with uh, an eight hour window. We started out doing from, I was eating between the hours of 12 p.m. and 8 p.m. And that was pretty much it. Uh, still controlling calories, still ketogenic, all that kind of stuff, uh, but it was within that window. So now, here we are, you know, about a week and a half, two weeks later, 
and I've gotten the intermittent fasting window down to some days it's five hours some days it's four hours just kind of depending on what we've got going on and I kind of shifted it a little bit later in the evening because we typically stay up a couple hours past eight o'clock so now I try to eat between the hours of about 5 30 and 9 30 if I can all you know plan everything around and do that and that the medicine and the ketogenic diet is pretty much all we've done this week so that's not too bad a drop of 5.6 pounds uh, in seven days, just doing the, uh, the diet, just doing the medicine, just doing the intermittent fasting uh, with, no, with no real exercise to speak of, you know, doing things around the house, that kind of stuff. Uh, you know, obviously that's not, you know, getting your heart rate real pumping, but uh, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much all we've been doing. Starting uh, today, moving forward into the next week, we're hoping to add in a, uh, a workout routine, a workout regimen. We're going to start adding uh, activity every day, you know, at least try to do, you know, 30 minutes, um, you know, maybe a mile, whatever, whatever we're doing, you know, we're, we're going to have some kind of a, a definite set strategy to it. Uh, I've been looking up some workout routines online, kind of trying to find some beginner things. You may be looking at this video and thinking, well, he, he's not like super morbidly obese. No, I'm not, you know, as big as some that have done some of these videos before. But uh, with the way that I carry my weight, I carry everything in my midsection. I'm only five foot six, so that 237.4 pounds is about 70 to 75 pounds over what the recommended allowance for me to weigh is. So when I punch all the numbers into the computer, and I have many times, I'm sitting with a BMI index, a body mass index of 33%. So, you know, I'm, I'm short and round. You know, that, that's pretty much, that's, that's pretty much my shape. You know, I like to joke around with the kids. I'm saying, I'm in shape, rounds of shape. So that's me, I'm short and round. So uh, no, that number's not astronomical. No, you know, I'm not starting out at 300, 400 pounds like a lot of people that have done these weight loss journeys are. But for me, uh, the way that I carry my weight, the diabetes, the family history of heart disease and diabetes and things of that nature, I have to get this weight off of me in order to continue to live a healthy life, to, to, to be able to extend my years and, and see the things that I want to see in life, see my kids grow up and be there for all those kind of things. Um, I have to get this weight off of me if I want to do that. So that's, again, that's, that's why I started this whole YouTube channel. That's why I decided to stand in front of you with just a tank top on and show you my weight. That's why I decided to be open with you about all the journey and all the ups and downs and various different things that come along with doing this. Because for me, I'm hoping that that accountability will help me stick to it. I'm hoping that that accountability will help me to have a desire to help myself and help you in the process. I have a heart for teaching and I have a heart for helping others and different things. So I'm hoping that through this, you'll learn something, I'll learn something, and that we can grow and move forward and we can both benefit from this relationship. We can, you know, 237.4 is my current weight. Um, I haven't really mentioned my diabetic numbers. I'll go ahead and share those now and I'll put a little chart on the screen uh, to let you see, you know, what, what, they, what I am now and then what they want me to be at. I'll put that on the screen. My current numbers are 8.6 when I went to the doctor last week. It was an 8.6. They want me below a 5.5. If I can get below a 5.5, then yes, I'll always be a diabetic for the rest of my life. I'll always have to watch it. But that 5.5 is the healthy range that my doctors want me to be at. So that's what I'm shooting for. There's a big difference. Now what that A1C measures, if you're not aware, is it takes a three month time span and it measures your blood glucose average over that three point time span, or three month time span, excuse me. So you can see from the 8.6 that the average glucose runs around 200. That's way too high. They need me to be running, you know, after I eat fasting and various things like that, I should be no more than 120 tops. They really want me running on average less than that. Uh, I think the 5.5 or 5.6 on the uh, A1C scale shows right around 111, something along that nature. 
Um, so that's where they want me to be. I'm sitting at an 8.6 now, and they want me down at around a 5.5. So that's why the change in medicine came. Uh, that's why the uh, the metformin was pulled off and the genument was added in so that we can, with the diet, with the exercise, with the weight loss and everything, we can get those uh, A1C numbers down to where they need to be. Um, the whole reason I went to the doctor last week was because, I, I mean, really was just going for a follow-up, was going to get a refill on the medicine. But while I was there, while I was talking to her, uh, I was telling her about some various different things that was going on. I've had some muscle issues here lately. Uh, I've had some issues with uh, my legs giving out on me. I've had some issues with some pain that I'm not used to and various different things. And I was concerned about uh, neuropathy. Neuropathy is one of those issues that diabetics deal with where your nerves aren't quite working the way that they should. So I was concerned with that and I shared that with her. So she wanted to do a, uh, a blood test and everything because her concern was that with the numbers not going down, uh, with the nerve issues or pain that I was experiencing, wasn't quite sure if it was nerve or not, but with the muscle pain I was experiencing, she wanted to make sure that my uh, pancreas had not completely stopped working. Because if my pancreas completely stops working, then I become insulin dependent and will be so for pretty much the rest of my life. Then, uh, you know, I mean, not technically speaking, but I, I basically go from a type 2 diabetic, which is reversible, to a type 1 diabetic, which is irreversible. Uh, you know, that's, again, that's not exactly technically right, but in the premise of explaining it on this video, that's pretty much how it would go. If my pancreas stops working, I'm not going to produce the things that I need to produce to keep my sugars in check. So no amount of exercise or anything will uh, will be able to kickstart that pancreas back in. So we're hoping that if I can get this weight off, if I can get my numbers down, that uh, you know that's not the case. That the pancreas will kick back up and do what it's supposed to be doing, and I can continue to push forward. So that's pretty much it this week, guys. I just wanted to touch base. I wanted to explain. Uh, how the week's been going. I wanted to explain uh, the stuff that we've been doing. My goal right now is maybe to do two, maybe three videos a week. I'm not 100% sure you know, what exactly I'm gonna lay out, uh, but I am gonna do several. Not an everyday thing because I'm just not that interesting to be watched every single day. Uh, but, you know, just kind of share how this journey is going along. I will be sharing some recipes. I will be sharing some workout videos. I will be sharing some different things, some family fun kind of stuff. Uh, just to just to kind of give you a glimpse into my life as I, I've, as I take this journey. So I hope that you follow along. I hope you find these videos interesting. I hope that you can glean something from them. I hope that in some way as we continue to pursue this journey, that these videos can help you, that you learn something from them, and that, you know, maybe your own struggle won't be so hard because you realize that you're not the only one out there. Uh, it's always hard because we, we kind of feel like we're on an island by ourselves when we're dealing with situations. And when we share and when we open up to people, we find that that's often not the case, that many other people are on that island with us. So you're not alone. If you're battling this disease, you're not alone. There are others out here. If you're trying to lose weight, you're not alone. If you're, you know, pulling your hair out because you can't figure out these diets and these fastings and all this kind of thing, you're not alone. I'm right there with you. Uh, I, I'm not some pro fitness model. I've never been super fit. So, you know, I've been big pretty much my whole life since puberty. And, you know, I, I, I'm taking this journey now to try to drop this weight. And we're just gonna see what happens. We're gonna do it and we're gonna stick with it and you're gonna come along for the ride. So I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you next video. And don't forget guys, this is YouTube, so be sure to like, share, and subscribe if you're enjoying these videos. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see. Let me know some recipes, some various different things you'd like to see coming out. And uh, I'll just continue to share like I am. Love you guys. See you next time.